What's up guys, DP Connect at DLife HD and today we're going to be talking about Benny and Nightmare Run. While we almost never talk about auto runners on this channel, this game brings something different to the table and that's why we need to talk about it. So sit back, relax and let's do this. First let's talk about what we like about this game. First of all, the art style and music look and sound like 60s or 70s cartoons. It's great. Also, they remind me of the game Cuphead, except this game has taken it a step further and just turned everything black and white. It looks like you're looking at it through an old fashioned television. The game has this horror feel to it that's pretty cool, and the fact that you're running away from the camera instead of towards it adds more to that feeling of insecurity. I love the amount of customization they give to you. Based on where you are in the game, you can upgrade your character and his look, including getting access to new characters as well. You can also upgrade the weapons that you throw at bosses and bad guys. I love that instead of being an endless runner, it has different worlds and various levels to each world, with more to come, and bosses that you can beat. I love that every level is really challenging, and once again it reminds me of Cuphead and that expect as well. You have challenges to every level, and once you beat those, you beat the particular level. Even though it's a free to play game, it doesn't advertise anything but their own merch, which is great by the way. I want to get some of the awesome t-shirts. Not once are you going to see a video ad unless you want to get some extra cans of bacon. You also have access to more cans of bacon that you can pay real money for if you want to advance faster in the game. Though I don't think you'll have a need to do that if you don't want to. It's great that even though you get cans of bacon every time you play a level, you also get extra cans of bacon for signing in consecutive days. That's a really nice touch. For a simple game, it's great. While I wish that we had gotten the same game that the Nintendo Switch is about to get in Bendy and the Ink Machine, which we will be reviewing on this channel as well, this is still a solo mobile title, but I can't help but feel a little jip. Who knows? Bendy and the Ink Machine might still make a showing on mobile. And lastly, the fact that the game is challenging is not going to be for everyone, meaning not everyone is going to like how difficult the levels are. I wish they would have gradually brought the difficulty in, and I also wish there was a little more variety in what you can do in the levels, but it's a runner so... All in all, this game is simple, yet brings something different to the runner genre. In our opinion, it's well worth your time, and even though it's free to play, it doesn't force any free to play things onto you. To top it off, there's even more content, more levels coming. With all that said, this game is definitely D-Life HD approved. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content like this. Share your opinion below in the comments. We love to read and respond to every single one. See you next time. Peace.